Good morning and welcome to our service of morning prayer. My name is the Reverend Matthew Renyard. I'm a curate here serving the parish of Radipole and Mark and Regis. It's a pleasure to welcome you to my study and my home today. I pray that whoever or wherever you might be, that you are safe and you are well today. So let us pray. O oh Lord, open our lips and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy, slow to anger and of great kindness. He will not always accuse us, neither will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor rewarded us according to our wickedness. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his mercy upon those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he set our sins from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so is the Lord merciful towards those who fear him. For he knows of what we are made, he remembers that we are but dust. Our days are but as grass, we flourish as a flower of the field, for as soon as the wind goes over it, it is gone and its place shall know it no more. But the merciful goodness of the Lord is from of old, and endures for ever on those who fear him, and his righteousness on children's children, on those who keep his covenant, and remember his commandments to do them. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night is past and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you now and forever. Amen. Our psalm this morning is Psalm 85. Lord, you were gracious to your land. You restored the fortunes of Jacob. You forgave the offence of your people and covered all their sins. You laid aside all your fury and turned from your wrathful indignation. Restore us again, O God our Saviour, and let your anger cease from us. Will you be displeased with us for ever? Will you stretch out your wrath from one generation to another? Will you not give us life again, that your people may rejoice in you? Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. I will listen to what the Lord will say for he shall speak peace to his people and to the faithful, that they turn not again to folly. Truly his salvation is near to those who fear him, that his glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth are met together, righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth shall spring up from the earth, and righteousness look down from heaven. The Lord will indeed give all that is good, and our land will yield its increase. Righteousness shall go before him and direct his steps in the way. Most holy God, when we come to you fearing that truth condemns us, show us that the truth is one with love, in your word made flesh, our Saviour Jesus Christ. And glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. The Old Testament reading is taken from 1 Samuel, chapter 2, verses 1 to 10. Then Hannah prayed and said, My heart rejoices in the Lord. In the Lord my horn is lifted high. My mouth boasts over my enemies, for I delight in your deliverance. There is no one holy like you, Lord. There is no one beside you. 
There is no rock like our God. Do not keep talking so proudly, or let your mouth speak such arrogance, for the Lord is a God who knows, and by him deeds are weighed. The bows of the warriors are broken, but those who stumbled are armed with strength. Those who were full hire themselves out for food, but those who were hungry are hungry no more. She who was barren has borne seven children, but she who has had many sons pines away. The Lord brings death and makes alive. He brings down to the grave and rises up. The Lord sends poverty and wealth. He humbles and he exalts. He raises the poor from the dust and lifts the needy from the ash heap. He seats them with the princes and has them inherit a throne of honour. For the foundations of the earth are the Lord's, on them he has set the world. He will guard the feet of his faithful servants, but the wicked will be silenced in the place of darkness. It is not by strength that one prevails. Those who oppose the Lord will be broken. The Most High will thunder from heaven. The Lord will judge the end of the earth. He will give strength to his king and exalt the horn of his anointed. The New Testament reading is taken from Mark chapter 3, verses 31 to the end. Then Jesus' mother and brothers arrived. Standing outside, they sent someone in to call him. A crowd was sitting around him and they told him, Your mother and brothers are outside looking for you. Who are my, mothers and my, my mother and my brothers? he asked. Then he looked at those seated in a circle around him and said, Here are my mother and my brothers. Whoever does God's will is my brother and sister and mother. So let us respond to what we have just heard read to us from scripture by saying together the Benedictus. You have set us free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous in your sight. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord, prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. You have set us free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous in your sight. And we just get to that part in our service where we bring our own intercessions. I'm going to lead us in some general ones, and when I say, Lord, hear us, please respond with, Lord, graciously hear us. And at the end, I'm just going to give us space to bring our own prayers and petitions this morning. So let us pray to God, the Father, who has reconciled all things to himself in Christ. For peace among the nations, that God may rid the world of violence and let peoples grow in justice and harmony. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For those who serve in public office, that they may work for the common good. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For Christian people everywhere, that we may joyfully proclaim and live our faith in Jesus Christ. For those who suffer from hunger, sickness or loneliness, that the presence of Christ may bring them health and wholeness. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. 
Let us commend ourselves and for all whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Lord our God, as with all creation we offer you the life of this new day, give us grace to love and serve you, to the praise of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, thank you for joining me for another morning prayer. Uh, I pray that uh, whoever or wherever you might be, that you have a good day, that you have a safe day. And if you're new here, please do say hello in the comments section below. It'd be lovely to connect with you. Uh, it's wonderful to hear from all of you as you often do get in contact with me. And uh, I pray that you just have a good day, a safe day. So take care and God bless.